Hey everyone, we got some big news for Lucid stock investors today as the company reported its production and delivery numbers and the stock price was up as much as 4% following the release of this news. As of this recording, the stock price is up 3% and interestingly enough, that seems a bit curious to me and we're going to see why that's the case. So let's jump right into the numbers. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right. So Lucid reported that it produced 1,728 vehicles in the first quarter and delivered 1,967 vehicles during the period. The company delivered more than it produced in the quarter, meaning that it drew down its inventory which is good news because inventory is becoming a problem industry-wide there's simply too much supply of electric vehicles and not enough demand for electric vehicles sales are growing for the ev industry overall but supply is growing more so than sales leaving an imbalance for the industry so as i mentioned the stock price was up as much as four over four percent on the news but now it's up roughly 3% as of this recording. And that seems a bit curious given that the company seems like it's behind schedule for the annual production target. Let me share that with you. For 2024, Lucid told investors that it was going to deliver approximately 9,000 vehicles for 2024. So if we take this number for the Q1, 1,700 28 or the 1967 let's round it up to 2000 and even if we multiply that by four we get to 8000 units for the year even when we estimate it upward even when we round it up to 2000 annualize it times four and we get to 8000 units the company would still be below its 9000 unit production target now even the 9000 unit production target wasn't going to be very much growth from the previous year where it delivered 8,428 units. So as of right now, as of the most recent update, they're behind last year's pace. And last year was not a great year for Lucid. So the stock price increasing on the back of this news was a bit curious. I guess it was some, some sort of a relief rally, given that the data we've gotten so far from other EV companies like Tesla, which reported decreasing year-over-year -year numbers. Rivian reported unspectacular numbers. The difficulties with Fisker and others. And so investors may be breathing a sigh of relief that the quarter was not a disaster for Lucid. It wasn't a disaster. Sure, it's behind pace, but it's not a disaster. It's still close, and it still has a chance of hitting this schedule. And it's still expecting to launch that SUV on the back half of the year towards the end of the year. And so investors could be breathing a sigh of relief and saying, OK, we just made a step closer. We just, you know, avoided a disaster and we lived on to fight another day. We lived on to see a better macroeconomic situation that could favor our business a little bit more. And so investors might be cheering that it wasn't a disaster, but it wasn't a great quarter. Uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Now, I mentioned the company uh, delivered more than it produced, and that was the opposite in the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter, it delivered 1,734 vehicles and produced 2,391. So in the fourth quarter, it, it produced about 600 more units. And so this quarter, it might have been rebalancing, not producing as much because it wanted to deliver some of those vehicles it produced in the most recent quarter. Still, investors in Lucid stock need to keep the big picture in mind, and let me share with you what that is. So here's the unfortunate news about Lucid and Lucid stock investors. In the 12 months that ended December 31st, so for 2023, the company generated $595 million in revenue. And on that $595 million in revenue, the company lost $3.1 billion dollars. A loss from operations of 3.1 billion when you generated 595 million in revenue. So they're losing five times, nearly five times as much money as they're generating in revenue. So for every dollar in sales, it costs the company five dollars. So they're spending five dollars 
to make sales of one dollar that's an unfortunate situation and lucid is shouldn't be thankful that they have deep pocketed investors who continue to be willing to fund these losses they keep injecting billions of dollars into lucid so that lucid can continue operating under these conditions now somebody's got to fund these losses right these this money has to come from somewhere and lucid has deep pocketed investors who continue pouring money into the company but for everyday investors they don't have necessarily those deep pockets to continue putting into lucid so that lucid can continue losing all this money now if the company can scale much much larger there's a potential at some point in the future it can turn profitable but it's not going to turn profitable with flat year-over-year -year production and delivery numbers which is you know even uh not even where it's at so far this year so the numbers that it reported is below the numbers that it reported last year so this year i already discussed the let's say 2000 units delivered right and you annualize that it would be less than the 8000 units the company delivered last year so this year is likely to be another year of massive losses on the bottom line somewhere around 3 billion it looks like maybe even more because of the extra research and development cost going into launching the SUV towards the end of the year now 2025 might be a better year 2025 might be a better year especially if sales of the SUV add to the sales of its extra uh, of its sedans so it's likely that demand for the SUV is going to be higher than demand for the sedans based on what we've seen from all of the other electric vehicle companies demand for SUVs is larger than demand for sedans so 2025 lucid sales could potentially more than double if they have the capacity to produce more than 10,000 units of the SUV, which I think they will have. They could just sell roughly 10,000 units of the SUV in 2025, and again, produce and, and sell roughly 8,000 units of the luxury sedans, and then their number of units could jump to closer to 20,000. But even still, even at 20,000, the company's likely to lose roughly 2 billion on the bottom line because if we double the sales revenue here from 600 million to 1.2 billion you're going to have higher cost of revenue because each car costs money to produce and the losses are still going to be roughly around 2 billion on those rough approximations so man it looks it looks uh challenging for lucid to say the least and another one of these ev companies in a challenging position losing massive sums of money on the bottom line finding it difficult to grow because customer demand just isn't there and supply continues increasing from other areas legacy automakers like ford gm stellantis all of those are increasing production and it leaves little room for companies like lucid to take market share so uh investors really need to consider their um position here in lucid so updating my recommendation on lucid stock now coming into this report coming into this update i did not have lucid stock rated as a buy i told investors i've been telling investors for several years now to avoid lucid stock not to buy lucid stock and i'm keeping that rating here i didn't see anything that made me feel better about lucid as an investment uh in fact it made me less optimistic about its prospects given that it's behind schedule for the year and growth seems to be far away and at the same time billions of dollars are leaving the company in operating losses so i'm updating this recommendation to uh hold or not buy 
and keeping it here on April 9th. Thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I know there's a lot you could be doing with your time and a lot of other videos you could be watching. So I truly appreciate that you chose to watch this one. If you wanna see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe or the like button. They'll both help me make more videos just like this one. Thank you again.